Michael Jackson said, all I want to say is that they don't really care about us. That's the problem. We don't care enough about each other. We don't care enough about our children. We don't care enough about our neighbor's children. So, good morning, good morning. Uh, yeah, you're seeing, you're seeing right. I'm angry this morning. Very, very angry this morning because for the longest time, and I know this will continue. I know I can't stop this. I know that Nutty Nun, who is talking this morning, can't stop it. But we are going to try our best to, to lessen it. Child abuse. Child abuse. How many of you have not reached out to me, to my team? And you may be 60, 40, 30, 50, saying that I'm alive, my body is alive, my spirit's not doing so well, my soul's not doing so well, because I was abused as a child. I was maybe molested, sexually assaulted as a child. You know, this is indeed a topic that that will uh, trigger many people. Okay, so are we specifically talking about childhood sexual abuse? Um, our speaker this morning is uh, none other than the nutty nun. She's that girl with the, the, the nun outfit with a cigarette in the mouth and she's, she's doing her, her um, otherwise thing there. Uh, I think... You know, in life, we often meet people that we just, we just at heart. And when I say wild, I mean that we, we counsel from the heart. Different. We don't say, oh, forgive your husband who beat you up every day. And forgive your father who raped you. And now at the age of 45, you are still struggling to cope with um, his rape. And you wake up at night and you can't sleep. And, and uh, because of that, your personality is split into a million pieces. And uh, but, but do forgive your father. We, uh, we don't do that. We say, you need to get out of your abusive marriage relationship. You need to get away from your toxic parent. Uh, you need to face what your father did to you and will help you work through that trauma. And only then do we say, okay, now that the wound is healed, now now we move into forgiveness. So, uh, yeah, I want to chat a little bit. We're just waiting also for Nutty Nun to make her appearance. She's probably putting on her goth makeup still. So uh, I just want to talk about our new green screen. So you see up here where that little phone thingy is, if you need to reach out for help, or if you're a counselor and you want to help, please click there. Phone me, phone me. I'm going to take your call. Um, if you missed a live or you want to re-watch a live, the bio, when you go onto our bio on TikTok, you can re-watch the, uh, you can re-watch the lives on YouTube. And then, I'm always pleading for money, please pay into this banking account here, also available on the bio. And if you like to subscribe, you can become a hero, you get a little hero badge, you can see Survive and Thrive, and Liesl, the Nutty Nun. And Hendrik, if you should be coming on, you'll see them running around here with their little hero badges. That means that they are supporting our cause. The payout is, uh, hmm, this platform takes a lot. So we don't really have much to work with after that. So please, if you could donate into that bank account, it would be much appreciated. And also, Nutty Nanny's here. Also, if you donate into that banking account, we can give you an Article 18A tax deductible receipt. That means that when you submit your annual taxes, whether you're a private person or a company, look, I tried to make myself decent this morning. I'm still falling all over the show. I, 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 um, that we will give you a tax deductible receipt for your donation, which means that you can deduct it off of your taxes. Let's get that nun to come and talk to us.
Look at that lady. Look at that nun. They let you come out this morning. Goeiemorgen, nat nun. Morgen, morgen. Hoe gaan dit? Nee, met my en jou gaan dit ons maar soos waar dit gaan, he. As ons klaar gepraat het, en ons het mekaar klaar opgewerk, oor al die 10.000 dinge wat ons dagelijks hoor, en in ons dagelijks met deel, en jou ervaring, hoe my vader nie kyk nie, dan wonder die mense, hoekom ons sigaret smrook, dan wonder die mense. Verstaan jy, ja, I agree and I concur. Agreement and concur, en so as of ons in die operating kamer is, ek like die woord concur, die dokter sê dit vir mekaar, so ons concur ook. Kijk, kijk daar, ek het probeer mooi wees soos jy, maar ek krijg dit nie recht nie, man. My goede van, val. Ek het nie vandag die eerste keer haarspray gebruik, ek haat haarspray, maar ja, dit is, die krille is all over, so hulle is geplat. Jy lyk beautiful vir ochend. My skat, waar oor gesels ons van moore? Dit is nie een makkelijke topiek nie. Ja, dit gaan oor kinder sexual abuse. So, ek denk ons allemaal lewe in a sugar-coated world and it's time to open our eyes. Dit is net so, en ek denk ons gaan goeders raak praat hier so. So, ek sê by voorbaat, asjeblief mense, share die live, want dit is nie, hier probeer ons nie sensatie skep skep nie, ons ons, vandag gaan ons moedelik die kat roep, ons daar is a kans dat die kat geroep gaan word uit sheer anger, frustration hurt hopelessness, helplessness hoeveel keer Esther het jy al so hulpeloos gestaan tegen oor die situasie dat jy begin huil het, want jy mag nie matskiet nie So baie keer, so baie, baie keer. Dit is een constante, innerlijke konflikt om die woede te kontein. Ja, dit is, wat sy ding is een pedofiel? What is a pedofile? Ok, nou volgens die baie slim mense, sê hulle dat een pedofiel is iemand wat seksueel raast en aangetrokke is door kinders, dit kan begin manifesteer op die ouderdom van 16, en daar is gewoonlik een groot ouderdomsverskil van minimum 5 jaar tussen die pedofiel en dan die victim. Ok, die ongemak rui my bloots, Duidelik. Wat is fout met die mense? Hoekom doen hulle dit? Ek praat uit bewerings uit, want my judgment oor dit is nie goed nie, so ek gaan net die feitelike goeders noem, nie my persoonlijke opinie nie. Dit kan enig iets wees van social deprivement, caring, loving, emotional support, dit kan dysfunction wees in growth development, daar is hele paar goed, dit is pathological causes, is physical or mental disease, neurological factors, and biological factors, a lack of social support, as ek sê het, En wat belangrijk is, the attraction for sexual arousal will never go away. It will never go away. You can try and contain it. The sad thing is... Denk jy castratie help? Dit gaan die instrument weg, maar dit gaan nie, it's not gonna get rid of the... Ja, maar dan moet ons hierdie instrumente ook afsmaak. Dan moet ons hierdie instrumente ook afsmaak. Dat is so baie, 
Dis die sê hy ding. Yes. Daar so baie, ek het jou video kie gekyk, ek het so bykie in my mond opgegooi, van pure disgust, en um, absolute terror en horrification, en ek het besef, castratie alleen, hulle het hulle allerhande equipment, maar um, <coughs> wat is die <coughs> common factors, wat teenwoordig is in alle pedofiele? Dit is nou soos wat ek genoem het, die, die, die patholog- pathological en dysfunctional um, freakies soos wat ek genoem het, die lack of social support, development um, problems, neurological problems, dit is maar die common factors, um, maar soos ek sê, my judgment oor dit, ek voel ons allemaal het keeses, um, we are all broken, we all have our, our skeletons in the closet, or our demons to fight, but we always have a choice. So, ja. <laughs> en toch, en toch, um, met al daarie pathologische, mental, biologische dysfunctions, um, kan jy maar eindelijk sê, ek is ook dan een prime candidate om uh, uh, pedofiel te geword het, and yet, I made different choices. Um, so, aan die einde van die dag, is dit een keerte. Alles in die lewe is een keerte. Ja, jy is vry om, is ja, jy is is te maak, maar jy is nie vry van die consequenties nie. Klaar. Nee, jy is nie. Dan weet jy wat, wat my die kwaadste maak, en ek denk wat jou die woedendste maak, is die, die consequences, wat in die, in terms of pedofilie, ons, ons gaan net nou eerst by hierdie goed uitkom, dat die Colette sê, um, ek weet die mense wat goed met my gedoen het, hulle het wortels en stokke in my opgedruk. Ons, 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 ons gaan daarby uitkom, soos, soos wat jylle kan sien is, Natty en ek is ewe geretel en ewe geapheevel dier die situasie, maar sy lyk daar een mooier as ek. Hulle het net vir oogend vir my gesê, ek lyk bleker toe nog, ek mag sy altyd bleek, wat nou vang? Now I'm the water shade of pale. Die goed werke mens op, dit werke verskrikkelijk op, want hier is klein lijfies, hulle is klein klein kinderkies, wat hulle self nie kan defend nie. Nou kom hulle na mense toe, wat hulle denk, my gaan help, en hoe die vijf wil. En die hoofe, praat saam met my asseblief, wat gebeur in die hoof? Wel, dit is, dit, dit is eigenlijk baie hard seer, daar is soveel goed wat in plek is om, om die kinders te beskerm, maar ongelukkig moet ek sê, dat die justice system it's failing us terribly. Um, daar is veronderstel om baie makkelijker maniere te wees vir kinders om hulle self te express, um, om te verduidelik volgens hulle kennis wat gebeur het. Uh, daar is veronderstel om in camera getuig te word, so dat hulle nie victimized voel nie. Daar is veronderstel om soveel support te wees vir hulle kinders, maar ongelukkig, it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen. The court system fails our children. Why? Nati, what do you know about judges, magistrates? Okay, for all purposes, this is a truth-based event. I'm not going to mention names. I'm just going to make it fictional. Well, the mama is gekom. En dit is baie belangrik dat ons as groot mense moet luister na ons kinders. Ongelukkig is daar hier die oudheidse ding van kinders moet gesien word en nie gehoor word nie. Dit moet stop. Dit moet stop. Give your child a voice. Stop. Give your child a voice and listen. Yes. Listen. So, Sieke het na mama toe gekom. Hy het sy favorite speelgoekies en um, 
kom ons sê nou maar, dit was Spongebob gewees. En Spongebob het elke aans om met hom in die bed geslaap, en hy het vir my mag sê, Spongebob mag nie mis om my in die bed slaap nie. En het sê het om sê, ma, hoekom boete? Want Spongebob was stout, mama. En hy het vir Spongebob in die hoek gegooi. En sy het toen nou maar geloos, en gedink dis nou maar net a story. En so het Spongebob vir een week in die hoek gelei. En sy het vir hom gevra, Boeta, is Spongebob nog steeds stout? Hoekom mag hy nie in die bed slaap nie? En hy het sy karrekie gaan haal, en hy het vir Spongebob gaan haal, en hy het... It's okay, my Scott. Wat jy het uit? It's okay. Sorry. Um, hy het gewaas hoe Spongebob aan die onderkant van die karrekje speel en hy het vir mama gesê, Spongebob, papa, wat stout? en hy het sy, sy tank gaan hal, soos die oorlog tanks, met die groot kanone boe op, en mama het vir hom gevra, maar, wat het papa Spongebob alles gedoen? En hy het sy vingerkie gevat, en op die, op die kanon gedruk, en gesê, papa Spongebob, waar gaat het ek my daal vat? En ongelukkig was papa deel van die justice system, een gerespecteerde persoon, en hy het mama verhoed om vir Sienkie enige hulp te kry. That's what happens in the justice system. So, Papa, was a magistrate or a procureur or a judge? And on that he in a hof sit and all of them he is here, a little man. Molestier is a kind by the eyes, a sinky kind, and a sinky kind mag he praat nie. Because that would be a bad reflection. All of them will know that he is Ja. Mama sal weet wat hy is. Die pedofiel wat hy is. Ja. Die heel eerste saak wat ek aangehoor het, um, was die 60-jarige, of sy was oor 60, vrou, wat uitgereik het en gevraad, hoe leef sy met dit? Papa was magistraat, Hy het al al haar kinderlewe lang verkracht en sy leef dan nie saam. Elke dag van haar lewe, al haar 60 plus jare, sy is 10 en as die dan nie nog leef, is hy nou in haar 70 so, 80, was lang terug. It was, it, it was a long time ago. Um, toe ek een dag met een klein driejarige dochterkie toe gaan na een dochter toe vir die inwendige onderzoek waar oor ons net na sal gesels. Toe vertel die dokter vir my, sy was altyd die districtsgeneesheer. Sy was gefaier, want sy was uitgeroep 
om my onderzoek te doen op twee sienkies, twee boeties. En um, hulle kon nie meer hulle ontlasting inhou nie. Dit het net uitgeloop. En toe sê hy, by die huis uitloop, dus die politie saam met haar, en sy sê vir die politie, maak een einde aan hom, en sy was aangekla, en sy het haar job as distriksgeneesheer verloor. Dis nie snaaks nie. Dis drie verskillende gevalle, en daar is nie net drie verskillende, dis nie net daar drie mense, wat hierdie goed oorgekom het nie. Dit is nie. En het is drie sienkies. O oh, nee, 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 skies, twee sienkies en een vrou. Maar as baie vrou en sy as baie sienkies, wat met hierdie verskrikkelijke pijn en, en baie luis en die veiligheid in jou rondloop. En die, hoe, hoe, hoe leef jy met jouself saam as jy weet dis wat jy waard was as een kind? Jy was, jy was vir jou ouwers net een tooi, een speelden. Jy was een spongebob, jy was, a, jy, jy was, jy was, jy was, jy was, jy was, hoe leef jy met jouself saam? Kijk hoe lyk sy, kijk hoe lyk sy. Ek het al minder hard oor as sy, sy het nog meer hard, dus ek kom sy so makkelijk huil. There's no, there's no easy way to talk about this, daar is, daar is nie. Um, volgens, volgens statistieke is daar 1 uit 10 kinders wat slagoffers is van sexual abuse. 90% van hulle is dier familie en mense wat hulle ken en vertrou en 60% praat nooit. Ja, yeah, never. They never speak. And th- th- this is what we need to do. How long do we need to remain silent about childhood sexual abuse? For as long as we don't speak up, that's how long this will continue. Mothers, wake up. Nutty. The mothers, look the other way. Why? Why? weer eens, nie uit my eie judgment uit nie, um, dit is deel van, van Stockholm, waar hulle so gebrein was voor, hulle so afhankelijk, financieel, hulle die needs, die basic needs, kos, huis, ek wil nie alleen oud word nie, ek kan nie myself financieel support nie, dit is sy kind, dit is leen, so kind jok, um, Sorry ma, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Wie is de laks? As jy nie weet waarom toe om te gaan nie, en nie nodig om weg te, weg te kom, bel my, bel my, daar, 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 bel daar, bel daar. Ek sal vir jou safe house organize. Natie sal vir jou safe house organize. Ons sal jou in die shelter kry. Ons sal jou help. Ons sal jou help om weg te kom. Moe nie aan die pad kyk nie, mamas. Moe nie nou uit die live uitklim as jy convicted voel nie. Don't do this. Stay. Be empowered. Let's hear your voice. If you don't want to speak publicly, I understand that. Phone me. Phone us. Phone us. We will help you. Don't look the other way. Colette sê, ek was twee jaar vry daarvan te word ek verkrag. Dit is siek mense. Weet jylle, weet jylle, dat Daar is kultusse, wat babiekies a paar dae oud is, a paar dagies, dan word daai poplap, daai prachtige babiekie, dier haar pa. Wat sy, wat sy equipment gebruik hierdie pedofiele? Ek heb al weer eens, ons gaan nie super koud nie want absoluut enige iets, enige iets kan een instrument wees, en mense moet besef, they are educated, they are educated, they don't want to be caught, 
en dit kan letterlijk die onskuldigste ding wees in jou huis. En ek wil hee, jy moet besef, as jy, as jy klaas van hierdie live af, gaan kyk anders te na jou huis. Want absoluut enig iets kan een instrument wees. Ek het een paar goeikies, sorry, dit is die enigste kersie wat ek kon kry in my huis. Kersies. Wat is dit? Vingers. Nou, kyk na jou eie vinger, kyk, kyk na jou pinkie. Dit, dit lyk nie vir jou groot nie maar een baba van een paar maanden oud. As hulle kyk na, ek gaan net alles op, ek gaan nie een vir een wees nie. Um, tampons. Lipstiffie. Skeermesse. Koos. Koos. Die kind sy eie speelgoed. Ek dink dit is die vreedste. Dit is die vreedste ding wat jy kan doen aan een kind om sy toys teen om te gebruik. Wat is fout? Hoekom doen jy dit? Wel, obviously is dit vir hulle een rausel om te sien hoe die kind met die speelgoed speel wat hulle gebruik om die kind te baie leid. As jy kyk na, na die heimvlies, of eder die maagde vlies, dis nou by dokterkies, hulle werk om op een op klok, 12 uur, 3 uur, 6 uur, 9 uur. Dit is hoe die heimvlies geheg is aan mekaar. En gedeerende die, die sexual abuse of selfs een onderzoek, kan hulle vir jy sê, die heimvlies is partially, partially uh, penetrated, of it's fully penetrated. Um, hulle, hulle weet sikke goed. Hulle weet sikke goed. En automatisch, as jy groter goed gebruik, en dit keer hulle nie, dit keer hulle nie, want die urges is daar, Yes. Eventually is 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 a item net nie meer genoeg nie because they want to feel the goodness. Um, dan gaan hulle voel en dan is daar bloeding, daar is bruises, daar is uh, mense dit is dat daar is daar is nie a limit van van wat hulle kan gebruik nie. Daar is yeah. anything, anything. Um Esther, vertel, asjeblief, van um, dit wat betek keer achterblij en die skade wat Oké, okay, gedeerende onderzoeke sê bijvoorbeeld die kind van, van 6 maanden kry een afscheiding dit kan begin met een gewone wit afscheiding, maar it's, it's not supposed to happen. Dit verander van kleur, en dit verander van reek, dit kan bruin wees, dit kan bloederig wees, dit kan groen wees. En gewoonlik in die tijd wat het groen is, is dit baie infected, en hy sal een baie sterk stink reek hee. Um, dit is as hulle die onderzoek doen, kry hulle gewoonlik soos toiletpapier of tissue of iets aan die binnenkant. En as hulle die goedkies wegstuur, dan sal hulle terugkom en toets op gonorrhea, wat a sexually transmitted disease is. 6 maande ouwe babiekie, gonorrhea. Hoe kry a 6 maande ouwe babiekie gonorrhea? Christel, baie dankie dat jy so mooi gewerk het daaronder. Baie, baie dankie. Um, <clears throat> dit is glad nie smaaks nie, want there wasn't even any... Daar is niks in vir die kind nie. Die kind het nie, ek kind vraag moes nie vir seks nie. Hoe, hoe in die wereld? Ek kind vraag vir ice cream. Oké, okay, nou, nou natuurlijk, jy weet ek die ice cream stiek. Dit is nou issue. Ek weet die ice cream koun is die issue. Mama's slaap wakker in die aand, 
as jou kind vir jou kom sê, ietsie het gebeur, papa doen iets, oom doen ietsie, uh, as, as, as jou kind vir jou sê, ek wil nie op oom Sarel sy skoot sit nie, moe nie, die kind dwing nie, want weet jy wat maak oom Sarel met jou kind, hy sê, kom sit jy op my skoot, ons twee praat oor die eerste ring wat opkom, jish, don't do that, wees wakker, luister vir jou kind, don't turn a blind eye, don't do this, as a brief, oh, self spreekie so is, o, oh, ek sien die bykies begin steek, en al word gevat aan die bykies, wat gesê word, dit is, dit is die oudste, luimste, manier, wat die mans, die ou mans, gebruik, om jou as kind, te klaar te breek. Absoluut, dit is, dit is, jou lichaam is jou lichaam, en jou buiks, buistekies, het niks met die siek, met die siek ou man, te doen nie, niks, het nie daar te vraag nie, te vat nie, te voel nie, het, het nie die recht, om opmerkings te maak, oor jou lijf nie, het nie die recht, om aan jou lijf te vat nie, het nie die recht, en ouders moet dit, baie, baie vinnig en vroeg vir die kinders verduidelik. Nou, jy kan nie vir die driejarige kind verduidelik in detail nie, maar jy kan, ons het altyd gebruik Uncle Sam, ek geloof allemaal ken die liekie van Uncle Sam says, touch your nose. Ok? So ons het, ons het dit gedoen en dan het ons gesê, if it's appropriate, say yes, if it's inappropriate, say no. So, Uncle Sam says, touch your nose. Yes. Uncle Sam says, touch your breasts. No. No. En so werk jy van kop tot toon en jy leer jou kind, yes and no. En soveel kinders het na die tyd gekom en gesê, but Uncle Sam told me, yes. So, listen, 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 open your ears, open your eyes, teachers, teachers. If a child tells you they've been violated, believe them. Children never, ever, ever lie about sexual abuse. They don't, simply because where would they get this? Where would they think for yourself? Why would a child say, Uncle Sam touched my private what part. Would, why would they say that? They don't have the scheming and conniving abilities unless you're a scheming and conniving parent who, chi- who teaches your child to lie. And then even then, even then, where do they get this from? Are you allowing them to uh, watch pornography? Are you... Ex- there's you laws against that. There's laws no, against that. I can't speak. There's laws against pornography, uh, explicit photos, videos. If you have it on your phone, you must have a password. Your child is not allowed access to that. If the child do get hold of that, you will be prosecuted for that. There is this come the age restrictions is of videos in or secret group. A kind is a sport. What they see, they will do. Yes. And there's always a reason why a kind does do. Absolutely. And then, so you saw Amy Oosthuis and said, Frau, I can't be so sick. I know from the woman by the crash where my kind was still there. You are completely right. And come and tell you about the sick thing. And tell you about Joey Harhoff and what's that in his name? Um, die man, Ger van Rooyen. Ja, ja, Ger van Rooyen, ja. Rui Harhoff harvested the girls for him. What? How depraved Ger van Rooyen, dankie, sewaar, yes, Joey en Gert, yes, allemaal weet van Joey en Gert. Dit was gewees toe ek een jong meisie was, toe weet ek nog nie van van sikke goed nie, en ek weet nie mooi wat gebeur het met die kinders nie, vandag weet ek, vandag is dit my werk, 
Het is net die land, ze werken op een dagelijkse basis. Moet ons, wat van advocate Bobby? Wat van dit? People, these are the things that happen to make it into, onto social media, into the limelight. But they are a million and six thousand. Listen carefully, people. Die nummer wat ek nie kan sê nie. That number. Most, most of them just, no one ever knows. People died without ever having said a word. Can you imagine that? Why should the perpetrators of these crimes just go scot-free? Why should we be quiet? I will not go silently into the night. Will you go silently? Silent? This chick won't. She, we are like this. We will go headstrong first into the night. Please, join our ranks. Join our ranks. Don't let this carry on. Share this live with your friend. You know that friend that you have been suspecting a long time now. You think there's something wrong with this child. Things not right. Share it with her. Tell her to come. Freaking share the, the live that's on YouTube. Share it with her. Share it with that pedophile so that you so that he knows we're onto him. We're coming for him. So so what do you do? What do you do? <sighs> Women are so caught up. You've witnessed this, Natty. You have seen who a ma met a terrified daughter ki ankom. Vertel for ons as a belief. And ons it ek het nodig om te verstaan. Wat gaan in a vrou se kop aan? Well, mama het gekom en gesê I want to get out. My car staan buiten. Ek is raag om te gaan. Ek kan nie terug gaan nie. Dochterkie was so klein gewees, al oogjes het net voor die counter uitgesteek. En sy het gesê, soblief, mama, kan ons rijk, kan ons gaan, asblief. En die vrou het al jylle hart uitgestoord en gesê, dit moet, dit moet. En ten die tijd wat sy moes rijk, het sy net gesê, maar ek kan nie. En die kind het al gesmeek, asblief, mama. Ons moet nie terug gaan. And she went back. And she went back. For more. En dan moet jy weet, as die pa, die ma so disabled het, because he's disabled her, she's now become a woman who is disabled. She, she, she has no more fight. And you know, this, this, this makes me say, ek gooi my freaking mond op, mense. Luister. Luister. Your pa is your protector, professor, provider. He protects the family, the wife and the children, the mother and the children from the outside world. He provides stability, resources. He professes to love them and teach them and leave, lead them. If, if the Protector, provider, and professor becomes the main instrument of attack. The, the family unit's greatest adversary. Who is left? Who? The mother. But he breaks her up. down first. He breaks her down first. So she cannot stand up. Don't. If you are in an abusive relationship now, in an abusive marriage, reach out for help. Let us empower you. Let's get you strong so that you can stand up. Because while you are so broken, while your husband is getting up at night, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, don't you ever wake up? I, sl I sleep tight, but I don't sleep that tight. Don't you ever wake up? Have you never, ever, ever thought of following him down the passage. If you do, you will find him. You'll see what he's busy with. You will see that your suspicions about him eating the cookies in the fridge is wrong. You will find him in your daughter, in your son's room. Wake up, moms. Wake up. And if you don't know where to go, reach out for help. We will make a plan. We will make a plan. We'll find a way out for you. You're not alone. If you have woken up, if you have caught him, reach up, put an end to this. Your child looks to you. And mother, I have very bad news for you. Your child is not going to forgive you. Don't think that your child will forgive you. 
Don't. Don't. I'm sorry, Natty. I'm hijacking your whole thing here. Please, my darling, carry on. I uh, agree I'm, and concur with everything you say, so it's fine. Put the muzzle on. Shut up, Miranda. <laughs> Don't. It's fine. Wow. Yeah, so basically, don't trust anyone when it comes to your child. Um, I know of an elderly man, um, also respected by community. He worked with children taken away from abusive homes. Um, it was supposed to be a safe place, disabled children, and he will actually take them to church as this godly person, and he will molest them inside the church during, <laughs> during the church. So, yeah, it's people that you trust. It's, it's the person next to you. You don't trust anyone with your child. You don't. You can't. You just simply cannot. You cannot. You need to be wide awake. Your children are your gems. They are precious. Stand up for them. Be vigilant. Nati, how, as a mother, how do you recognize the signs? Are there signs of abuse? Is Are there any signs that will tell me, listen, things aren't right with my child? Yes, there definitely is. Um, it differs from, from ages, and I think that's a topic that we will actually have to discuss all on its own. So, But basically, children are not supposed to know about pleasuring themselves. Yes, you do get to learn uh, about your own body as you grow up, but if you start using instruments to pleasure yourself as a child, touching your private parts, touching your friend's private parts, um, mood swings, aggression, uh, isolation, secretiveness. There's so, so many different ways of a child showing you something's wrong. Something's wrong. The bed waiting. Yes. Biting the fingers, fingernails, like she said, acting any inappropriate acting out. Because when a child doesn't have a voice, they they voice their hurt, their fears, their anguish in 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 other ways. Nati, you you are you can do play therapy, you're a play therapist. Tell us, please. Well, like you just said, children don't always know how to voice the emotions or the things that happened. And with play therapy, and I think you've got some um, dolls there with you. I do. If you I don't do. mind sharing us uh, while I explain. Awesome. I'll go. <laughs> I didn't get them out, so I'm going to get them while you talk. Okay, no problem. So with child therapy, we use play. Play with different mediums, it can be dolls, it can be their favorite toys from a dinosaur to a doll, a car, uh, like I explained with the car and the SpongeBob, the child will choose the toy that they use or prefer and we don't put them on the spot to, to talk about what happened. It will come out through the play where they will then tell me SpongeBob touched my car here and there. Or they will create a scene where dad's in the shower and then I will ask him what happens in the shower. And then he will place himself inside the shower. Daddy tells me to come and shower with him or mommy tells me to come and shower with her. So with play therapy, we help the children to express themselves in a way they understand the emotion. And Dr. Marinda, um, she made awesome, awesome dolls with uh, the anatomy. <coughs> Sorry. Um, that helps the child 
to express what happened. <laughs> and what's important, a child won't always use the medical terms. They can use an example of uh, my brother used his pencil and stuck it into my eraser. And you must make sure that those words are used even when it goes to court. If you want to show us your dolls, Doctor. Okay, I'm going to... Um, okay, let's start with... First of all, I have... Um, we have the, the Caucasian dolls. And we also have dolls of colour. Okay, so I hope the green screen doesn't mess around our dolls. I'm going to obviously... Because I don't, we don't want to be banned. The anatomically correct dolls have open mouths because what do you put in a mouth? They have the fingers with fingernails so that the child can show you exactly which finger was used. Then I won't go further, but the female dolls have uh, the anus and the vagina, um, toes, um, they have ears. You won't believe what, what they do with ears. And then the, this is now the child doll. But we also have them in the Caucasian um, dolls. I'm just like, yeah, but this is this is the girl, so it doesn't have any. So then the adult, you see there are the little chest hairs to indicate, again, the open mouth, the ears, the fingers. Fingers, individual fingers, so that the child can say, oh, this finger was used or that finger was used or whatever. And then, of course, the genitals, proper genitals, which I'm closing up. Um, in this case, a, a, a male. How will we say this without getting kicked off? Uh, anus. and uh, But I'm, I'm closing up, so you can't kick me off. So these are the dolls that, that the, those are therapy dolls. They're called anatomically correct therapy dolls um, used in, in play therapy. Now, these ours, the mustard seed tree, because we go with the naked truth, the butt naked truth. In fact, they are not, um, they are not fat little chubby dolls because they're not meant for play. You won't give these dolls to a child to play with. They also don't come with clothes because we just need to get to the basics of what happened to you um, so that you can explain, hopefully, on camera. Now, the sad thing is that I did a live one night and um, I had a, I had a, a gentleman um, accosting me and a cousin of mine came onto the live and she tried to divert... Uh, from, from the uh, accosting situation, and she asked me to show the dolls, which, like I did now, showed the dolls. I didn't have a green screen, so I didn't mess around. Um, and on that live, there was a lady who, wh wh what do you call that, Hester? She types the court things. The scribe. That, the scribe. The scribe. She, there was a scribe. And she was so excited. She said, but this needs to be in all the courts. Um, please, what's my number? I sent her the number. I said, yes, am I excited now? Because I have many dreams for Mustard Seed Tree um, in terms of counseling and all of this. And yes, I agree. I, I donated dolls like these many years ago to uh, the Temba Court and the Alexandra Court. And, awesome. um, you know, just in an, an attempt to help, but time and affordability because these dolls cost money to make so um, I was hoping that somehow there would be therapists who would buy these dolls or our government god forbid uh, would find it in their <coughs> menial, menial or lavish bud budgets I don't know for the court system to acquire these dolls and I was thinking that we could even make a, a job creation project out of this. You know the gogos who are left to raise the children um, 
they could sit at home and make these dolls and get paid for their work while the courts then have dolls. You know, I was I was hoping. So Hendrik Vaas, Jameth, I'll Joe jo, jo, uh, jo contact Hendrik's not alive today. He's but uh, yeah, so like Vodacom. Yes, he's connected like Vodacom. But that is what I was hoping would happen, you know, so that the children could testify in safer situation on camera um so yeah but but hester here she's good with the play therapy me i i i i just get angry and i want to go and kill the pedophile and then i'm useless with the play therapy so she's you see this is why when the cases come in they get allocated because this girl knows what she's doing with children and play therapy thank you there's there's so many things to to discuss and yeah um i think we should also discuss when it comes to what happens after the session or after the incident if if you are ready then we can can move over to that please 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 do that's the important part okay so what's supposed to happen if the child is minor and i want to state it very clearly that a child from 12 to 15 cannot give consent and under under age of course but it will go under the act of statutory rape so even if it's her boyfriend even if it's it is not allowed it's statutory rape end of story so obviously a child that is a minor will need a guardian to accompany them to to the nearest police station and what is important is yes you want to protect your child but do not touch the child in any area where there is possible evidence don't wash the child don't change the clothes don't give them liquid to drink um those things are important it is still possible 72 hours after an incident that semen and dna can be found on the victim and there is never a end date of opening a case of sexual assault unfortunately the 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 evidence kit <clears throat> won't be able to be used after a long period of time but you are still allowed to open a case so if you are now 40 and you want to open a case against your your uh, suspect there's no time limit okay so that is use your voice and speak out because you were not the first and you will probably not be the last but you could help stop stop this you could if enough of us stand up together and we voice we could at least minimize it definitely okay. so the reason <clears throat> sorry i've got a, a frog in my throat um the reason i'm telling you not to wash is because of the dna and bodily fluids that will be taken as evidence um there is a sexual assault kit for pediatrics and then as well for adults so during the evidence kit you must make sure i want the, the parents or the guardians to know make sure that the kit is sealed it should not be tampered with prior during or after the the kit has been taken out of they put it in a safe it's supposed to be in a safe it's got a serial number on it the seal must not be broken inside the the sexual assault kit there is a j88 this is a form that is completed by the medical examiner that will show bruises um scars uh 
anything that he can find, whether there's blood or the hymen or there's a whole lot of pictures. Your from head to toe, your private parts, everything is there. Because by the time it goes to court, those evidence has disappeared already. But then it's on black and white. And the doctor will testify. It must go through a government doctor. Private doctors do not testify in court. So inside the kit, <clears throat> you will find something that looks similar to a earbud. But it's a bit longer. That will be used inside the mouth for a swap. Um, and wherever there might be bodily fluids, as well as inside. And whether it's male or female, they will check an anally and other private areas. Uh, there's something that looks like an ice cream stick that they use for swaps. There's the clothes, the evidence bag for clothes, for the underwear, if there's condoms, things like that. Everything possible must be sealed in that evidence bag so that when it goes to court, they cannot say it was tampered with and that it came from the victim themselves. There's a chain of evidence from the doctor to the police station. The doctor will seal that evidence bag and evidence kit in front of the family, in front of the police officer. So from there, the chain of evidence will go to the police officer where they then book it into an exhibit register. And it will then from there go to forensics for analysis. <clears throat> and the forensics obviously put their report in for the court as well. Um, they do come and test you know, I'm, I'm going to ask this and you know I'm going to ask this. What about if evidence goes missing is there is, am i allowed to to take photos of of the evidence as as a mother for instance um as a caregiver as the reporter of this case um am i allowed to keep any documentation for myself so that i can at least say but your honor the police lost all of this but, you know, what can we do? Well, I will definitely, if I'm the parent, I will take photos. But it will depend on the doctor and the police official that's attending to the incident. And then they are also supposed to scan the, the, the docket and the statements taken and given. That's supposed to be on the computer system. It's not supposed to disappear, but it does happen. Um, unfortunately, if the evidence kit is sealed, and even though you took the photos, it, it's not going to help a lot because it's just a photo. The DNA, you can't prove anything with the photo on the DNA part. Okay, you, you told me that, that after this whole thing was sealed, it goes to the forensic department, the, the police forensic. The, I suppose there's a like a medical section in the police force. Okay. I just want to understand this because you already know I'm trying to, to keep track of evidence here. So um, how, how quickly does it go to the forensic department? A, B, am I, as a parent, allowed to contact the forensic department to say, I, uh, let alone, give me, give me that report of yours. I, I want to keep it safe now. Well, you can always speak to, to the investigating officer that will be working at the specialized unit for child protection. Um, he is supposed to give you feedback and he can also give you copies of of the things that were sent away and the feedback like that. He cannot really deny you that, but you do get people that will deny you. And um, yes, I will phone. If I'm a parent, I will phone because once again, the system is failing us. The system fails? Bags that's, that was never sent. That's true. So, so um, 
when I'm a, I'm sorry about my hair. It must not just hang like this. Um, so if I'm a parent and I report this thing came to me now Sunday afternoon while we were all having lunch and now I'm aware of this and uh, praise God, my child has not had a bath yet. So I take it to the cop, to the, um, uh, police to the police, police station. Yes, not cop shop. They're not all uh, bribable. Some of them are very honourable. So we take the take the child to the police station, and she goes through, or he goes through the whole medical examination. There, I'm allowed to make copies of or take photos of whatever the J eighty eight that great kit bag thing, and then I take the number. Can, do I get told then and then, Blondie, yes, we're going to open the box in a second, my darling. Um, do I uh, get told straight away who the investigating officer is going to be or or is that, how long not, does it take? No, for you? Not necessarily. Once the case is uh, opened and registered, then a detective from the specialised unit will be allocated and that detective must then be in contact with the family. To inform them, I'm the investigator. This is the way forward. Okay, but if they don't contact me, can I phone the uh, the police station and say who's the investigating officer, or will they shout at me? Am, they, am no, I not allowed can, to do you that? You can phone. You can phone. If you do not get, uh, you're supposed to get an SMS to say this is your case oh. number, and then you will get a second SMS to say this is your investigating officer. If that doesn't happen within 24 hours. Don't even phone the police station. Phone the station commander. Oh, really? Station? We go straight to... I like that. I like to go straight to... There's, the no, there's also, no time for for games when it comes to this. No. No, it isn't. It isn't. So so I take all my photos. I wait for the um, SMS, the two SMSs to say, this is my case number. This is the investigating officer. And if I don't get joy, I just straight away. Station commander, your people are not doing their job, and he'll make waves there. And then, um, what if the station commander is in cahoots? Yeah. Well, there's always IPIT. They are an independent investigation um, that that investigates police for not doing their jobs. Mm -hmm. You can Google it. The number is there. And, yes, you take it as far as possible because it's for your child. It's for your child. Tell me, you see why I like this chick so much? She, you must only flock cake me. She's a, yeah. Okay, I put, you're going to make a video for us, Natty. Thank you, thank you. So she's going to make a video for us about I put because I just want I want all the pedophiles to just go away. So if you're wondering who she is, what she does, we work together. She's a counsellor, just like me. We work for free. How much did I pay you again last month, Nati? You paid me with love. I'm <laughs> sorry. But you know it's because I don't have money, hey? Uh, luckily, you have a lot of love. It's fine. We have, I, I yeah, they, must, they must just contribute into this account, then I can pay you money. And also me, I can pay. I had to pay. I had to pay. I had to pay what? Monster crazy. Where did you have to pay? Well, gift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, monster. Thank you know, you the monster. thing is that, that the mustard sea tree, this is our organization. We counsel for free. So we go around begging for money, saying, please help us, please help us. And... Uh, but in any case, so this is what we're trying to do to get money together to do what we're doing now. Because this chick, you phone her 12 o'clock at night, you say, I'm in dire straits. She says, where are you at? Let me help you. This is this is what we do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is this is the thing we do. And see how knowledgeable she is. She is she's awesomely, she... I wish I could say who she really was and where she came from, but all I can tell you is that this woman is not just a bundle of love because she, she you see, she cries easy, very easy. 
I, I'm harder than what she is, but she's just a bundle of love and joy, but she jumps into action. She's the girl who does the work of 10,000 people who should be doing the work. She stands up. She stands up and she does this. But now, Okay, so what, what else do we need to talk about? Because I want to open the box. Mm, well, there's a few things that that the, the parents may, must make sure if they do make a statement, there will be very detailed and sensitive information asked, but it is very important. And that's why I said they must make sure that the words the child use will be written down the way the child uses it. Um, yes. That's very important because, unfortunately, the policemen tend to use their own vocabulary to make it more understandable for themselves, but it shouldn't be understandable for them. It should be understandable for the child because the child will be the one that's going to testify. And there's also different ways that this assault can happen. Things like touching. Did the victim touch the suspect? Did the suspect touch the victim? That goes for kissing as well. Not to say that the victim um, <clears throat> wanted to do that. They can be told to do that. So that must be specified. You see, that's the thing. Yes. Because it, the, the, I don't know how these pedophiles' minds work. When they get into court and they say, no, but the child asked for this. They wanted it. Yes. That, that's so why that, God won't allow me to get close to the legal system because they'll hang me day one. So that's very important to, to specify because it creates loopholes in, in the justice system by the time it gets to court, like you said. Um, then it's also the use of instruments. That's the things that we showed you here, whether it's toys, food, anything, it must be mentioned. And what, what happened with the instrument? Did, did the suspect put it in my mouth? in my private part, at the front, at the back, the position I had to stand in or sit in, that's very important. You also get things like people have fetishes. Did the victim had to put on perfume, a certain kind of perfume, certain kind of clothes, baby oil, that they want the smell of baby oil because it's arousing to them. Um, <clears throat> voyeurism is like where the suspect will tell the victim to touch themselves and they will only sit and watch. Um, where they will tell the child to pleasure themselves with a toy or with the hands. That must be specified. The suspect told me to do this while he watched. And what did he do while he watched me? Okay? Then there's exhibitionism. That's where daddy will, or daddy or mommy, sorry, I don't want to, you know, um, generalize, um, show their private parts and play with their private parts in front of the victim. There was a a case scenario of daddy went into the shower and he told baby to hold his private parts while he took a photo because apparently that's the a, a good memory for the parents and the mo mother was okay with it apparently <clears throat> then there is fellatio that is basically oral abuse where the mouth goes on to a male's private parts. Kalingas is the mouth on a female private part. Those things are important. You don't have to use the medical terms, but it's details that is needed. Uh, sadism. 
that they burn me, that they cuff me, that they hit me, um, how, because sometimes they do get aroused by hurting the victim. It's a turn on for them. And it can come in many forms. Urination and defecation, where the suspect will then urinate on the victim or he will do a number two on the victim. Yeah. So that's also important. Sorry, it's not nice to talk about, but it's important. And then you also get the, the I wanted to say idiots, I'm going to say idiots, bestiality. where they make the victim have intercourse with an animal. With the family freaking Labrador. <sighs> and then sodomy is male on male with anal penetration. So that must also be specified. That's, yeah. That's 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 what I'm going to say about that. This was hard for you. Thank you, my darling, for doing this. I'm um, I'm sorry that you know all of these things. I'm sorry that you've had to work with so many of these cases. I praise God that you are raised up for the season. Because now we're going to fight it in, in a different way. Now you are going to bring healing. You are no longer just going to be in a position where you know about it and you can do nothing about it. So at least um, I praise God for I praise God for everything that you've endured, even though I'm, I, I'm sorry for it. But um, I'm so proud to work alongside you. Because you. you're a, you're a, a worthy you. you're a worthy warrior, my girl. Are we going to speak to people in the box? Yes, thank you, Dave. Um, here we go. Let's see. Yes, people need to talk. People need to hear. It's not okay. It's not on. Don't be afraid, guys. You're sitting next to me. Have you not seen me in, in action? Jakus Get in the box. I'll protect you. And I've got the main nun next to me. And then we've got we've got our our guys. We've got Dane here. You don't know what he did the other night. Hey, jou geklom demons op een knop, ek vertel jy, daar kind. Ay, ay, ay. So proud of your team. So proud of your team. So proud. And now, where um, has... Yes, okay, Monster, so... Yeah, oh, yeah, you can jump in the box. Okay, I think Crystal wants to jump in the box. Hi. Or Blondie. Blondie. Hi. Blondie. Hi, how are you doing? We are well and you. Fine, thank you. Awesome. I just want to find out something. I know about a case where a little girl was apparently molested by her stepbrother. And the stepbrother is, they had him locked up and everything. Good. But the mother only reported the case seven months later. So can you maybe tell me how, what will happen to the case? Is it going to, are they going to have him locked up? Because they had him, um, they arrested him. He was, he appeared in court and now they postponed the court date again for December. But like they say, the Social workers are still investigating. Okay, so tell me, is he still in detention or was he released on bail? No, the bail was denied. Awesome, awesome. Um, so 
it is unfortunately very time consuming the whole procedure for the investigation um, so it will depend on the evidence that they will get to link him to the incident but the fact that he was denied bail is an extremely good 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 thing so i do have hope for that yes because i don't know the mother it is it was one of my friends um cousins and like she said there's a whole lot of stories going around and one day then it's him then the next day it is um somebody else like her brother's kids and stuff like that so like the lady said from the social worker she said she has to investigate everything now at this moment because at this moment now there's no dna evidence or anything so they basically going on speculation at the moment because so there's two different stories Yes, the social workers, most of the social workers do uh, play therapy themselves. Um, otherwise, they will refer the, the person for play, play therapy or psychological evaluation to, to confirm the, the allegations. Um, unfortunately, there's this, according to me, a bad saying, innocent until proof, proven guilty. So let's hope that the people that do the evaluations are equipped to prove the guilt of the suspect. Another thing that I wanted to find out, I heard that um, they're going to, when they appear in court again, his lawyer is going to ask for a um, polygraph test. Will they okay. be able to do that? Well, that will depend on the, on the judge or the magistrate. Um, they do use polygraphs, but not all courts accept it because it is possible to manipulate a polygraph test. Oh, okay. Okay, Thank you very anything much. else? No, that's all. Um, okay, good luck and I hope. Sorry, Sorry, Blondie, can I just ask something? A polygraph for who? For the little girl? Or for no, the for, for the perpetrator. Okay. Uh, because where apparently, are you, where are you guys sorry? situated at? By in Johannesburg. Okay. Because apparently he says that he's um, not guilty, he's innocent, and that, that is all. why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hester, I need to ask you something. Um. Polygraphs for little children. I mean, but that's scary because they hook you up. Okay, you're shaking your head. Bad idea. Yeah. Okay. See, this is why because I asked that she's, only, she's so clever. She's only five years old now. So that means she was she was four and a bit when this happened. Yeah. Lonnie, it's thank you for coming. It is sad. It is sad. Um, I don't know. I, I, all I can say is if enough of us start standing up and voicing and speaking, maybe then the magistrate, maybe then the pedophile magistrate will realize, listen, people aren't going to like me. Maybe I must stop doing what I'm doing at home. Maybe I must stop ruling in favor of the perpetrator against the little child who isn't lying just because I'm a sick just because I'm a sick uh, person and I work against the ends of justice but we need to stand up and speak yes definitely yes. thank you Blondie thank, thank you. you very much I hope she gets the justice she deserves thank you have a lovely day Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see if anybody else wants to ask a question. Um, let's go with anybody else. Need to ask Nutty Nun, the rebel nun, a question? <laughs> Apparently, I was told not to call myself a rebel, but rather a crusader. So, 
we are all crusade. Okay, I'm, I'm then also going to join you in the crusade for justice and, and healing of hearts. So yes. we, we are crusaders. I like that better. Rebel sounds so, so not good. Just, just off I the bat. I do like it though, but you're... <laughs> Okay. I embrace we shall, my rebel. We shall henceforth be, uh, uh, what's that word? Crusaders, no oh, longer yeah. rebels. <laughs> okay, um, let's just quickly scroll back up because I didn't want to. Okay, Monster, are you still here, Monster? Is Monster not here? Um, okay, Monster is not here. Okay, I don't think Monster is here. Blondie, no. Dan, Disney, Crystal. Does anybody else want to get in the box and ask Nutty Nun, the Crusading Nun, a question? You know what? I think this was actually um, triggering for a heck of a lot of people. And I think that not many people could stay to hear because it is just too vile and just too disgusting to listen, especially when you started talking about the tools, the equipment that they use. Um, and, I mean, everything, every, there was nothing. You didn't have any <sighs> – there was no good news this morning. There was no good news. And um, I'm sorry, I hope one day we're going to be able to do a live on some good news. We're going to be able to do a live on, 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 the, on the pedophiles being executed by blunt teaspoon, by the, the rounded edge, edge of blunt teaspoon. Oh, no. You see, this is why I cannot be trusted with these things. I will become the extreme. What did you say? Sadist. Yes. I would be sadistically in my execution of judgment. <laughs> and and may I confess? Fight I fire enjoy. with fire. I will enjoy it. I will take the same pleasure out of executing the pedophiles that they took out of executing their sickness upon their little two, three, four, five-year-old victim. I would probably, it would be for me, it would be orgasmic. I would say... <laughs> but okay. Um, is there anything else that you want to add? I was just thinking about like um, it just popped up, like children that they have money or sweets or new clothes, shoes, whatever that they can't explain where it comes from. That is usually okay. also used as payments for the children to keep quiet. So if parents can realize that they, there's money, this child is having money, I didn't give them money, I didn't buy those clothes, start, start questioning. Yes, absolutely. So any strange gifts, parents, Nutty says, no, that's not on. Find out where you got it, where your child got it. Why did they get this? Why was it given as a reward? For what? For what purpose? Because, um, and then um, you and I spoke a little bit about um, men and women who go for younger, um, <laughs> this, this is so sick. <laughs> so you've got this 60-year-old man, he's balding, he's gray as a fox. He drives a sports car. He's an MD of this major company. He's married to this, his wife who bore three, four, five, six children, three children, whatever. She built a family with this man. She was married to him for, let's say, 40, 30, 20 years. She worked. Monster crazy. Okay, now, awesome. Monster, We can, can do you want to get in the box? Who's married to? Hi, Hello. Mom, how are you? I can get into oh, the box for a little bit. Yes, you're welcome. 
<laughs> Sorry, what did I miss now? I'm hearing some man with sports car and... <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna to let you talk first and then we're going to... Um, then we're going to continue about our crazy crusading oh, no, you ways. Can, but... I play along nice. <laughs> awesome. We want to hear what you have to say, Monster. Hmm? I just wanted to like ask, like, what if you inv- like? You think it's safer to use like your investigators? I was trying to ask that earlier. Just clarify the question a bit. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't understand the question. Oh, I was going to say, you know, question? earlier on when you with the topic you're talking about earlier on with what people do. You know, you got deep into topic though. No offense. Um, like, and if like, what if? Do you think you can use your private investigators, like if you know people, like a private company? Unfortunately, I, um, the government, the, the the chain of evidence, the investigation for the handler of the docket, the justice system, the evidence, uh, it's not a possibility for a private investigator. Oof, Bill. Yeah. I was just, yeah, this is like something that's just playing in my mind, like my favorite song, Replayed, Replays in my mind. <laughs> what, what's your favorite song? My favorite song, it's Replayed by Lady Gaga. Like I the word in there. The scars on my mind are on replay. Very true, very true. Um, Monster, there, there's, there's obviously a reason why you stuck around why you asked your question and why you came back. And and plus, I hear that you're a man. Yeah, and, I know uh, I am. So and, a lot of uh, it, because of my profile, I'm a bit of a mystery. Don't worry, I'll follow you guys on my other account that shows my real face. No, that's that's fine. You know what? Um, Natty and I both know that they are good men. We have um, good men on our team. We are not, not just a bunch of women counselling together. We have men. They are really, really good men. Um, yeah. All the men are afraid of me. I have to say that. But all the men? <laughs> I say all the men are afraid of me. But you men, look lovable. I beg your pardon? But you look lovable. My darling. Yeah. Look, look. <gasps> Big teeth. Look. <gasps> <laughs> 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 yeah. it's fine. The, 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 the women on our team well actually everybody on our team we we are counselors so we do counsel from the heart we are full of love but um like like we were discussing that there are so many matters where you cannot we are not the counselors who say oh so your husband is beating you up oh darling let me read from the Bible, and uh, then you forgive him. We're not those counselors. We say you get the out of that marriage, and you get away from that, and we help you. And and then after many years, uh, after some time, not years, after some times, when we've That's broken crazy. your trauma bond, we say to you, okay, now we must look at at forgiveness, so you don't get cancer. But we we're not the when we we're not going to keep you in counseling forever. Because you're not paying us. We're going to want to heal you because there's 10 behind you in the row. So we want to get you to a place of being healed as quick as possible, um, the shortest route, the best route, so that you can walk away and say, hey, these people do a good job. And unfortunately, we we come against the pedophiles. We come okay. against the narcissist. So so that's why as, as sweet as we seem, uh, we have, we have dark sides. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes, Makes sense. sense. So, yeah. So that's why I'm absolutely thrilled to have a man come onto our live this morning, um, and and I love your monster crazy. You just you seem like you should be on our team. You she you seem like you should be riding that devil bike with the blue flames, and we'll we'll send you after all the narcs and the perps and the and the pedophiles. There we are. No, I just use Monster Crazy because I have a weird sense of style in a way. <laughs> and that bike sounds awesome, I won't lie. 
Yes. Okay. So you must just tell me. We're going to rank for for the bike. We'll make sure it has the flames on, and then it's then it's game on for everybody who hurts anybody. You're going to be the get man, the hit man. I be that cool. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Sounds good. So I know what Nutty's doing. Can you can you see her profile pic there? She's a nun who smokes. So we all, well, not all of us, but most of us have that habit um, to keep us from going crazy. So we smoke cigarettes. Honest, the reason I joined that live is because I saw that profile pic. Oh, her profile pic. And I'm like, I've got to see because you know, a profile pic is different to how a person looks. And then I heard like the six topics. I'm like, I must just stick around because I tend to just scroll, scroll, scroll. Because sometimes lives today gets boring. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you didn't get bored then. <laughs> well, I stuck around for long, and the fact that I am chatty, so yeah, it shows. Yeah, Thank you God. for choosing to stay. So yeah. Okay. So thank you, thank you, Monster Crazy. I hope you're gonna, I hope you're gonna join our ranks of 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 uh, crusaders. Nati says we're not rebels; we are crusaders, and uh, I hope we we can count count on your support when when we need you to ride. I can do my best. I can't problem because there are times where I'm busy with my stuff as well, and then you know, so I can see what I can do. <laughs> No, it's 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 a joke. It's a joke. We can't really ask people to become hitmen and and that kind of thing. That's just a fantasy. I, I, I fantasize know, a lot. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know anyone. TikTok making clear. I don't know anyone. I'm the most innocent person on earth. I think. <laughs> That's what we all say. I'm a nun, so I'm also innocent. <laughs> no, no, she's I'm a smoking one. She's a smoking nun. <laughs> Oh, so you, you know, do you say, blame us? <laughs> There's nothing wrong. I, I was going to say rock the smokiness. I, I you like, have a what? Like rock themselves. I rock themselves. Yeah. Okay. Even with the messy hair or imperfection, you just rock it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Monster, thank yeah. you so much for for joining, for sticking around, for coming back. Because we lost you there, and then yes. I was like, but, but the person wanted to talk. <laughs> yeah, when, when I joined the box earlier, like, uh, Nati was in a like, deep conversation, and I'm like, this is something I can't really interrupt, because it's the reality we're in. If I could change the world, if I could change the world, I would, but sadly, so much we can do as humans. As long as we try. There you go. As long as we try. I just changed Absolutely. the world. It stalls. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's, so yeah. that's it. I just want you to go away with this. They say one swallow doesn't make a season, but they also say don't ever underestimate the smallest thing that you can do because have you ever tried to sleep with a mosquito in your bedroom? Oh, my word. Yeah, those things don't survive very long. And it's very irritating, even though it's very small. So even the smallest thing can it make a change. That's true. That is so true. Eh? It's actually a very valid point. <laughs> but anyway, so if, if you take anything away from this life, just remember that. No, of course I will. But I'm going to awesome. join more often. I was like, usually I join people that make jokes a lot. And with this one, I just got intrigued for some reason. I'm weird that <laughs> Well, thank you no, for staying, and we appreciate it. There we go. So, Nati, well done with the with the smoking nunnery. I just want to inquire, which um, abbot was it that taught you that taught you the the wisdom about the mosquito and the swallow, or did you uh, teach the abbot? No, I actually think it was either Rumi or somebody like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. There, there's a more, more, um, ex in detail, um, explanation like 
a certain place where the mosquito is like sitting at the moment. <laughs> but let's not go into detail there. <laughs> 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 I kind of think this live was detailed and and um, triggering it enough. Detailed. Yeah, it, it, it was. I, I, I wish we love, didn't... It triggered a few points, but it was detailed. Yeah. You know, the, the so thing is, Monster, have... if, if you work with a person who has many personalities within their body and as you speak to each personality, you realize this person was messed up on so many levels, abused on so many levels. It's that's true. that's why all the personalities came about. I I rage. I silently, not even silently, I rage because the brokenness in the world, and yes. yet we have to keep quiet. We have to... Just be polite right. and go to church. Well, I don't go to church. It's because I cannot be quiet and I cannot be polite. That's See, yeah, I agree with you. I actually know someone like that. Like what? Well, then you contact like, Dr. Like, Summerton. Like with some of that, they cannot be quiet. Oh, I thought somebody with personalities. <laughs> oh, I know, I know a lot of people with different personalities. I deal with a lot of people. All I know is I just smile, show my teeth. If if the person get, get, gets on my nerves, I smile with my teeth, but I'll be speaking about my teeth. Have a nice day. Kind uh, of thing. You should, you know what you, what you should do is my advice there, a bitch slap just sorts it all out. Just back in. I wish you <laughs> Okay, I'm a bad counsellor. Let me, let me. Uh, fine. You might, like you brighten my day, so you're good in a way. Oh, awesome. Praise God in that. You see, I am a Christian. We are all Christians. We love Jesus. We and Jesus go like this. We, we've got him on speed dial, but we're not, we're not the fake Christian people. We're not that. You should, you should then on Sunday, you should come and have a listen to what we have to say about blaming God. Yeah, I am very guilty. I'm like... I'm not the most innocent person. Like, I don't I know think if there's curse, anybody bad, who can say they are innocent. If I like bump something, I'm going to curse or something. Like, you know, the swear words in that, yeah. I, I try to refrain. Hey, Natty, we, we try to refrain from our le regular vocabulary. We, we try to speak more linguistically, e linguistic, elegant, um, Understand. and live. So that we don't get banned again. Banned. Because I, shame I, you I, I know TikTok's like that. Yeah. They were just, I was sitting like on a live saying nothing. I, I, I don't know what I did. I, I, I don't know. When I saw I was off. And they told me I'm in TikTok jail for four days. And then oh, like, I didn't even say nothing. I didn't threaten anybody. You some, Sometimes there is people there that just... I call them trolls because my first TikTok account was just banned for no reason. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's just trolls like secretly reporting. But but we we have that problem. Our videos, and I don't know if you've checked out our videos, but Natty here does our videos, and she does she does a kick-ass job. And we our videos just never make it on the for you page. I mean, w one time we had. A video, but that they are. I, I threatened someone. I, I threatened to physically accost someone. Um, in forty-eight hours, it had two hundred and eighty-eight point eight views, and I didn't even have the chance to go to the comments. But it was hectic, and then they they chuck this video off, and ever since then, we just we battle. We just and we've got stuff to say. We've got mental health stuff to say we work exactly. for free for goodness sex what's wrong with this platform why are they doing this to us i have no yeah, idea the, the one the one I video we got like luck. one percent one percent views on the fyp yeah so i mean one percent on the fyp that's nothing yeah something's wrong i don't know i just i, no, I can say thank god my videos uh, that hasn't happened to me yet even though my videos are a little bit hectic. 
sometimes. Forgive me on that. Hectic in what way? We are not here to judge. We only... Uh, so yeah, today was a bit different. With this account, I do like outfit, like virtual looking outfits. Like with these Sims characters, with these Avatar characters. And some of them can be... How do you say reveal? Like not like revealing as in just stickers and nothing else. Like leather kind of stuff. But okay. like classy style. Like I try to okay. bring class into certain things. I don't know how to explain so, hey, Nicola, so on on Tuesday, we're hoping to get a metal head to come and speak to us about metal um, apparently inciting people to murder and that kind of thing. And and so so you you sound like what what's your genre of of music? I like my I like anything with a good beat. With a good beat. Yeah. Here I, we go. I, I have a favorite artist. As well, I'm a I'm a bit of a Lady Gaga fan because I don't know I see her like she's very strong like in the early days when she was crazy and then if you see her now it's she's not afraid to speak. I can put it out there. You know, you know that she was bullied all of her childhood. Yeah, and then I saw the uh, one documentary yeah. where she like just spoke her mind when I think it was at a record label where she got. TikTok doesn't ban me where she got raped. And then you know, she's crying and to this day, it's like she, she gets the pains like from, from, from that scar, if, if it makes sense. Yeah. No, absolutely. I would also wear a, a dress made of meat if I had lived <laughs> yeah. through, through what she lived. Because, you know, this is where um, the sound of s silence <coughs> says it so eloquently. The words of the prophets are written on the subway walls and tenement halls. Listen, read the artists, the musicians, Hollywood. They're telling you how messed up the world is. Exactly. You don't listen to, to counselors like us, but we're trying to tell you, wake up, smell the roses, mom. Freaking follow your husband when he gets out of bed at in midnight hours. See if he goes to the fridge. Surprise for you, honey. Surprise for you. Uh, in any case. Well, yeah. my mom did that once. Next thing you know, they're fighting over something as dumb as a fart. So, <laughs> 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 they listen the hard way. Now, some people there, they are true to each other. There is relationships where they fight a lot. But then I'll, I'll sit down with the Kuiper and like, why are you guys fighting a lot? They're like, oh, it's just a relationship. It's like a very rough relationship. But you love each other. Yeah. Just throwing pots and pans, nothing new. What? If it works for them, <laughs> why not? Well, it, it depends on how they fight. Nothing is just moonshine and roses, but it depends on how you fight. Uh, true, true. Sometimes it's a play fight, or sometimes they're just talking loud where I'm thinking they're fighting, but you, you, like, like you get people, I'm guilty, they just talk loud and you think, why are they shouting? Like, I went overseas once, and the people at the dinner table, they're, like, talking so loud. And I'm, like, I pull my arm to the side. I'm, like, why are they shouting? Why are they fighting? So my mom looks at me skew. Like, no, this is how they talk. Oh, true, true. Like, <laughs> like the Italians. The Italians are loud. The Portuguese exactly. are loud. Guilty. And then just like, what is the... So, yeah, so some... I don't know. It's just <laughs> weird reality. Okay, but Monster, if you're in the box, yeah, you must yeah. now educate us on the topic that we spoke about today. What is your opinion about it? Which one? The... Where you use a knife. <laughs> Wait, do you mean the one where I have like a crazy motorbike and all that? No, yes. the topic of the life. What would you do? What is your opinion on the oh, sexual mean... abuse and things like that? It's hate, like, in my opinion, I don't understand how people can, like, if you do that to a little one, first, how do you sleep at night? It's like so many words hard to describe because it's actually very deep. Like, I'm lost of words because it's really sad. And that, if like, you could make it to, 
sorry for interrupting you. If you could make a suggestion um, on the top of your mind now, how will we reach the right people and make an awareness of this for children to get their voices heard? That's a good question because I'm not okay. I'm not that good with like trying to be with all being heard and stuff. Because will you think about it and come back to us? I think so. I'm not busy thinking starting like a whole like a charity fund to raise awesome. something. I was thinking stuff like that, like to, to to raise funds to get a safe place for for, for them that like you know they've been hurt, or abused, and that because sometimes. Uh, are, are the young ones they think it's their fault and we need and they and they just need a sit down with someone they can trust exactly and just to exactly. talk their mind like I don't know what I did but I managed to get some of my friends to talk their mind of their traumatic experience so sometimes just a person needs that it's true so please do follow us and do get back to Dr. Summerton and be oh, the no, mosquitoes. I, I Let's be both. a swarm of mosquitoes. I don't know why you call it a swarm. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Uh, I'm already friends with you, Nati. And I did oh. follow, what can I call you, Doctor? No, no you, you can, can just call me. Call me. Oh, sorry. Fabulous sorry. Marin. <laughs> but John, sorry. Some, there is people out there that like, like, like they, they, there'll be a random stranger that like, like I'll, I'll be sitting getting takeaways from somewhere and then they'll just start talking to me and I'm like I don't know you're for bar of soap but keep going keep going like they just speak their mind like people just need to speak up and especially young ones that's been through all that stuff all that abuse that they think it's their fault like it can be any kind from verbal to all that other stuff I don't want to speak that loud yeah, you know, they just need a safe space to speak their mind, maybe get like just a normal hug or yes. sending virtual love. That's what I sometimes do if they don't want to see people in person, but they want to speak to someone. Clean love. That's that's the big thing. Clean that love. That's, that's the important thing. Love that is not going to cost you anything. Just... Exactly. Yeah. That's the rare thing because love tends to cost... Too many people, too much. At the, sometimes, with, sometimes there is people out there that they will sometimes take advantage of your love and all that. I know because it happens to me almost every day, still today. But I just I fall into that trap. I must look in the mirror and say, nah, I mustn't do that. But so at the same time, yeah. Okay, first I want to apologize to Dr. Summerton for... That moment of ego that I just had when he asked, can I call you doctor? I thought he was talking to me. Obviously, he was talking to you. So, I feel it's like fine. a I'm, nut. I'm talking to you. I feel like a nut. No, you know it's what? Like all human. You know what? I've, I've got a little prophet in me. I tell you, not not too long, not too long, Dr. Nutty. You're going to, to wear that red robe. I said I'm going to fly down to PE. I'm ranking for your robing. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I told you. There you go. <laughs> Mansa, thank you so much for joining. And I wish you an awesome, blessed day. Same to you. Th thank you for having me. You're welcome. It's our pleasure. Take you know care. I'm, I'm actually going to eat, eat lunch now. I'm starving. Oh, awesome. It's awesome. So, so I, ho I hope you both have an amazing day. Thank you, you too. And just because I'm random like that, roses for all. <laughs> oh, thank, oh you. thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Awesome, awesome. Ah, uh, yeah. Very sweet, sweet chap. Nati, thank you for all your wisdom. Thank you for enduring. Thank you for showing your heart. Um, thank you for crying the tears that I no longer have to cry. I now just have rage. <laughs> But you, you still have a heart, so praise God for that. Um, and uh, I will I will see you shortly. Thank you for everybody. Join me. Go well. Thank you for all the gifts. Be blessed. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.